the crowds, the delays. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard our non-stop service from New York to London. Fly much? All the time, actually. Hello, welcome to What the Flick. I'm Christy, this is Matt, Alonzo, Ben. We are doing the biennial, right? It's like every two years? Semi-annual? Oh, I think it's semi-annual. Semi it's twice a year. year now, yeah. The semi-annual <laughs> Liam Neeson badassery that comes along to whisk us out of our movie doldrums. This time it is non-stop. It is what? Taken on a plane, kind of? Text on a plane? Die Hard on a plane? Die Hard on a plane? It's the gray on a plane. Is, <laughs> who is the wolf? The red herrings are exactly. all the wolves. All right. so, so the gray where the plane needs and a bunch of wolves. Yeah, on, on a plane. plane. All right, so someone awesome. can describe it, please. Uh, all right, I'll do that. So uh, Liam Neeson plays uh, Bill Marks, which couldn't possibly be his name. Like, <laughs> like, like what an early flaw of the movie. That guy's name is not Bill Marks. Um, uh, and after that, uh, flaws aside though, uh, it's a lot of fun. So he's an FBI, if you've seen the trailer, uh, you, you, you got what this is. He gets through the uh, secret, excuse me, through the air marshal's secret on air network where only he can get text messages. Someone knows he's an air marshal, knows he's on the plane, and says unless they get $150 million wired to a very specific account with a lot of digits in it, uh, a person will die every 20 minutes on the flight. And then it turns out, as you learn later in the trailer, that not only is this going to happen, but Bill Marks, Bill Marks, uh, <laughs> is being framed. He might actually be the terrorist sending himself text messages. Oh my god. We're midway across the Atlantic. How do you kill someone in a crowded plane and get away with it? I thought that was one of the things that didn't work so well in the movie, that, a movie that I liked. This idea that, like, we know that he wasn't the guy. It's like the audience never for a second buys in that there might be the twist, twist. Well, that, that part he, of it is we have seen that happen to Liam Neeson in a movie already. Right in unknown, or it's like, oh my God, oh, he's right, actually right, right. the guy. Oh, right, with right, the right. same director. Yes. With the same director. So I thought. Yes. So as I'm watching this, I'm thinking, okay, well maybe that's the one guy. It can't be because we've already seen that one. Well, I, I didn't think it matters that we believe that Liam Neeson is the bad guy. What What is interesting is that everybody on the plane comes to think that he's the terrorist, and that's what the twist is. That's the whole, like, not only, I'm like, I'm trying to save you, stop trying to tackle me in the aisle, because I'm not hijacking the plane, I'm, you're the he, only thing that's going to keep you alive. And it, that that true, conflict I thought true. was interesting. But he yeah. also does a terrible job of convincing people that he's not the terrorist. Like, well, he's drunk. He's half drunk the whole right. time, which we know from like, the first frames of seeing Liam Neeson that he has a drink problem. So he probably reeks of alcohol and he's all jittery and paranoid, so of course you're not going to trust him. And, right. You know, I, I had a great time with this movie. I really enjoyed it. I will say that when it comes to uh, explaining itself, like the script kind of paints itself into corners that it doesn't really quite get out of, but it had delivered so much other good stuff that I didn't care. See, that's yeah. why I, I'm giving it the, the lower score than you are with it, because mm. I like when it's batshit crazy. I, I like when it's nutty and over the top and like the back part of the plane's gonna explode. I don't like when someone has this whole long monologue about why he or she is doing this no, very the, thing. It, well, big, <laughs> big mistake in having the villain explain why? But that you, was, ha you can't not have that scene. You could do it better. No, I'm saying you could do it better. Like they could have, they could uncover it. Sure. You know, there, there are obviously other ways to do it. But that was that ended up being a weak moment that I suspect caused some. Uh, uh, I guess. Uh, brother. But I, I like the fact that he is flying on character actor airlines. Yeah, like, there's great, all yeah, these yeah. suspects, and they're all played by people who are interesting to watch. Julianne Moore, Corey Stoll, uh, Scoot McNary, Lady Mary from Downton Abbey, uh, Michelle Dock. Dockery, Lupita Nyong'o, you know with a Grace Jones haircut, yeah. as, and, as Bibbs pointed and out. six lines. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I know, barely. Yeah. And, and somebody's like, that's terrible. And I said, well, she probably did this before, like, yeah, right. you know, either, either at, before. 12 years of flight attendant. Exactly, at least before the movie came out. And she was just, she, she took the gig, you know. It's not like, oh, this is all they're offering her now. No, this was before. Yeah. Even like Omar Metwali, who is the Muslim doctor who mm -hmm. rushes in to check on folks who are indisposed. Um, he was what? He was Reese Witherspoon's husband in rendition, and he brings like the right. rare oh, yeah. bit of gravitas to the well, movie. Well, he's the yeah. pilot that's on Law and Order, that's the DA on Law and Order. <laughs> the, oh, the pilot no, or the, the co-pilot? 
pilot. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Uh, I didn't I said it. He was. Re, he was like the last DA. Yeah, and the the, co the co pilot also is a break. You know, he's like a British character actor whose name is thrown out of my head. He's got three names. So yeah, there's all these potential suspects, and they're all played by people who. You could think, well, if if one of them wound up being it, then the movie, you know, it would work because they right. could pull and off their big the scenes. And then, yeah, that big scene is kind of badly Mount, written. Anson Mount too. One right. of the things Who's the movie Mount does. In the, movie? the other, the other uh, air marshal. Yeah. One of the things oh. I, I like that this movie does is a lot of times in a movie like this. You can spot who the villain is by just based on casting, oh, yeah, yeah, right? Totally. And this one, amongst the other red herrings that throws you, is it wisely has a bunch of people like that, and so it's not easy to pick. Like, oh, it's that person. Oh, yeah, it's that. It's person. It's almost like an Agatha like, Christie. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. Think about it. An airplane is the the ultimate locked room mystery. Totally. You well, know. There was a moment where I was thinking, like, are they going to end up doing this like Murder on the Orient Express? <laughs> where everybody did it. And no matter how <laughs> cynical I try to be, like, or just maybe it comes naturally. Um, I I fell into it. I'm like, oh, it's the co-pilot. And then I'm like, no, wait, it's the New York cop. No, wait, like you really, <laughs> yeah, too, totally, yeah. It's like you can't help it. I can't help it. It was well, I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> amongst the people that I was hoping it was going to be, the small I child. Say, <laughs> well, I won't say whether or not I was right. Is a small child? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why not? Right. Why not? Did, Did anyone a, screen that teddy bear? She was in Mildred Pierce. You know, you know for sure that Liam Neeson cannot be a bad guy on any level because he's kind to the little girl who's scared to fly by herself to London, and he helps her cross the threshold. It's the ultimate, nice uh, drunk. It's the ultimate you know he's a good guy. moment. Right. Oh, and uh, this movie has a fight scene in an airplane bathroom, which is awesome. It's, it's time for one person to And you can't do anything in a right. an airplane bathroom that two people could fit in there and kick each other's asses. Well, that's it's pretty what would be like trying to have sex in a bathroom. Well, I, I was going to say, be best, best use of, a, of an airplane <laughs> lavatory since Rich and Famous. What Look happens? it up. I don't remember what happens in that movie. Jacqueline Bissett fucks a guy. Oh. Remember? There is my high club it's action in this movie, Under a Blanket. Under a Blanket. Oh, that's true. In first class. Yeah, but that's true. But those seats guy? are huge now. No, I think they were there together. Oh, I think they were flying together. I love but that she was, girl. She just <laughs> met him. Oh my God, she is a party great. girl. But yeah. yes, but I think she actually had a date oh, okay. with a person on vacation. Okay, all right. It's not that uh, much fun on the airplane. So yeah. I, I, you know, this is, uh, I really like the, this whole, I think it's really interesting, the, the 61 year old Liam Neeson, I guess he started it at what, 55. <laughs> this sort of reinvention of a kind of a smart action hero. And I think with the exception of Taken 2, they've all been excellent. I've read, because the director's the same as with Unknown, some of the reviews disparage Unknown a little bit. I thought, I thought Unknown I was like great. I, li I mean, I like, I like these movies, like, they're indistinguishably similar. <laughs> like, I, I really liked Unknown, and I really liked this. I was totally into it. I completely agree that sort of in the, the third act, when there has to be an explanation for why the evil was done, that, that I was like, uh, com uh, I'd, I'd, li I'd like not to have this speech right now. I would, I would be great, but I, I was able to get past we it. We were laughing. Like, it's supposed to be a really serious moment. Like, oh my gosh, the moment of truth. The person explains why he or she is doing this. And we were laughing the we whole time. We were laughing. But you know it's what? so ridiculous. I realized that my initial score was too low on this because I actually okay. had a better time. Did you? This movie okay. is stupid with two O's. Like, yeah. Yeah. But that's right, okay right, right. because it's fun. And I'm going to raise my Are score. Are you going to raise your score? Yeah, it's I a am. little less sophisticated than the other three. Liam Neeson movies a little bit like it doesn't like I thought I thought the plot twist and unknown which I've read other reviews they're described as you know baffling and then I, I like for whatever reason I followed that no I think uh, this is a better one than Taken 2 I, I'm oh, leaving no Taken 2 yeah. out yeah. I'm, 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 I'm counting the gray but not as good as the gray it's I think not, the gray is still the best I think the gray though, right? is still the best one but I think I like this one better than Taken or Unknown better than the first yeah. Taken even. yeah just because in terms of just sheer like, like having fun with it and uh, not paying attention to the details and I like this know. better than the gray like, I, I, oh, really? but, but I mean that's a real distinction between what's better and liking it better like I get it the gray is better You're wrong. But, but well the gray the gray is almost a different kind of movie because that's a movie about loss and heartbreak and and he's fighting off wolves you know I mean, I mean, so yes, yeah, so it's another one of those difficult loss, heartbreak, bullshit. You know, yeah, Liam Neeson gets to be. Here's a knife fight. He gets to be. Humphrey's a knife to a woman. <laughs> 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 he gets to be. He gets to be like action Liam Neeson to a knife fight. He gets to be action Liam Neeson, but also like acting Liam Neeson in that one. Whereas the other yeah. ones, it's really yeah. kind of just act action He's Liam Neeson. He's acting here. But uh, yeah, sure. Christy, uh, Christy wins this review. Oh, thank you. So put your numbers in. Uh, I, so I guess I'm low now. You are. I'm right? five point eight. Yeah. yeah. I have five. Um, but Did you, are you going up? I'm going up. I'm going up to uh, seven. 
Wow. Okay. Yeah, so this is a fun. Is it's really stupid, but it's fun. So give four, me a second. Right? Uh, 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 simple. Yes. Bingo. Uh, I have a seven point six. Uh, it is. You know, I would have liked this movie more if the uh, third act explanations had made sense. But I was having a good enough time that I kind of let it slide. Yeah, I am. I'm surprised by it's doing poorly on the tomato meter. Yeah, it's only. What's split? It's forty eight percent. So yeah. So there are people who like it. I gave it seven point eight. I, I, I like it. I love this whole Liam Neeson. Franchise. I look right. forward to Dave February me. of 2016. <laughs> taken three. <laughs> right. There <laughs> has to be a third Taken movie, right? Um, Clearly, I, there I must. Stop Taken. Right. <laughs> no. By the way, it turns <laughs> out that uh, a little tiny, tiny spoiler: the plane, uh, the plane does eventually stop. Yeah. <laughs> so the title is about 105 minutes. <laughs> Not the airport where it's supposed to stop, but in a different airport. <laughs> 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 Goodbye. All right, guys. Thanks.